So hopefully you understand well by now that a list is simply a wrapper around an actual array. Arrays do not size dynamically, but as programmers we like things to size dynamically and be flexible, and so we kind of fake it by making these list data structures, and all they do underneath is maintain an array for us. And hopefully now you understand the cost and overhead of that, and can use your lists more intelligently through all the videos. Here's the implementation of the list we've been writing through all these videos. Here's the underlying array. Since list is closely related to array, sometimes you'll find yourself needing to go to an array. In fact, sometimes we use list to dynamically size, insert, add items, remove items, that sort of thing. But in the end, maybe you want a static array. You've seen how static arrays can be extremely fast when used properly. So I want to take all these ages and and, and turn them into an array. Well, I can say int array my party ages as array gets new int array and the size of this array I want to be my party ages dot count the number of items inside of my party ages. I can say my party ages dot copy to my party ages as array and now if I F10, 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 you can see my party ages as array has all the ages copied into this array. And now when I modify this list, it won't modify this array. This array is an actual copy. This approach is a little bit clunky. The only time I use copy2 is if I don't want to copy the entire sequence. Copy2 has overloads to determine what index we're starting at and how far we're going and that sort of thing. Whereas if I just want to copy the entire array, as I did in this case, there's a fast way of doing that. I can delete this and say my party ages dot two array and then list will do all that work for me and, and generate an array out of the items that are inside of that sequence. Hover over this, you can see my party ages as array. It's a nice copy. And just for tickles, I'll say my party ages sub zero gets five 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 f ten f ten f ten f ten f ten. You can see my party ages sub zero is five five five, but my party ages as array is still thirty five. I did not modify the copy that we created. Uh, from two array, let's uh, let's make the two array method inside of our implementation of me list. I'm not going to do the copy to. I'll leave that as an implementation, not an implementation, an exercise for you. Public int array, not int array, t array, because we're storing t's items of type t inside of our list. Go watch the generic videos if you need to brush up on that. Two array, and then right here, I could be dumb and say return items but in that case we're actually returning a reference to our underlying sequence which would mean that a modification like this would actually change what's inside of me list let's change this implementation over to our implementation let me f10 on that f10 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 my party ages sub zero oh that's another problem too this uh, this array here, its length will be the capacity, so we have these leftover items. We've seen how capacity differs from count in previous videos. Uh, but now when I modify my party ages and set the first item to 555, that also affects this array out here because I returned a direct reference to my array, and now that's also 555. Not ideal. What we want to do instead is to make a copy, just like we did earlier in the video. So I'll say T array ret gets new t array large enough to hold the count number of items inside of us not the capacity but the count i'll just use array dot copy from items to ret and i want to do count number of items and now i can return ret ret is a copy f10 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 you can see my party ages sub zero is 555 uh, my party ages as array however remains 35 because this is a true copy.